Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. The path ahead may be weary, but my friends, don't give up. Do you know what? Some of the most times in my life where I've grown and I've developed emotionally, physically, you could say, but mentally, and sort of just overall life experience, is when I've thought to myself, do I continue? Do I continue with this? Not just because it's too hard, but because I'm a little bit unsure of the outcome What's what's to lie up ahead? Or what's the benefit of this? Or am I really going to get there? Am I good enough? Do you know what? And if you're having those thoughts in your head, like I just said, the path may be weary, but it's the things which will grow you the most, which cause us the concern. And that's sort of asking us to doubt ourselves. In my mind, I always think to myself, it's that doubt, which actually I turn around and I say to myself, do you know what? No, I'm going to do this. No, I'm going to get on with this. And for me, what pushes me forward is the guidance from my parents and my, and my dear Nan. And do you know what? That really does keep me going in life to think, do you know what? I'm going to make you proud. I'm going to make all three of you proud. And I'm really going to make myself proud. I'm going to make the Lord above proud. And I'm going to follow this path, whether it be dark, whether it be weary. And I'm going to come out the other end and it's going to be shining blue skies. If only life was that simple, but I think if we have that notion in our head, we're starting off on a win-win first of all because we're being strong. We're being strong, we're being determined, and at the end of the day we've got that desire to keep going. And as long as you've got that and you're being positive, then to be quite honest with you, just do your best and it's, and it's always going to be a positive one. It really is. Now, what does this transcend to? So, for example, career-wise, if you're sat there worrying about your career, or money-wise, you're thinking, how on earth am I going to get through one month again, or how on earth am I going to get through this time? Or something's happened in your life, like a bereavement, or something like that. It's so, so easy when something like that has happened, to sit in a dark room, and not pull the curtains, and just sit there, and not bother about anything, and just to think, and close your eyes, and I know, and just cry, because that's happened to me. But honestly, from my heart to yours, I tell you to keep going because the last thing ever, and I don't know that person if this is what you're going through, but the last thing that person would ever want you to do is to break down and, and destroy your own life. They would only ever want good for you. They love you and they think the world of you and they want the very best for you. And for that, that means carrying their legacy in your heart, their love and your love for them in your heart, and to take one step ahead slowly but surely and you know what it will get better my friend it really really will from my heart to yours from being in some of the darkest times in my life going through i'd say in the last five years it does get better and i can assure you it does get better and that's why i say to you the path ahead may be weary but don't go giving up because you know what if it's not bereavement or if it's not family things perhaps it's career perhaps it's life perhaps it's family you will get there and you will reap the reward at the end of it, whether that be career, whether that be life, whether that be getting through a tough situation and thinking back, do you know what? I'm twice the person I was. I'm twice the man or the woman I was because I got through this situation. I'm stronger emotionally because I got through this. Or actually, do you know what? I've got the intuition now to know that actually you don't do this with money. I've got through that difficult time. So never, ever give up. Keep going. The path ahead may be weary, but you know what? As I've said to you, sometimes we need that weariness in our lives to be able to push us a little bit more, to be able to grow us, to be able to develop us. And usually in those situations, we shine because where we haven't got time to plan for it, we just jump straight into it. We give it our all. Now, sometimes that's not always easy. And if you can't give it your all, then just take your time. Take your time. If it's in a situation where you think to yourself, I just cannot, no matter what I do, no matter how I think this through, I'm not going to get through this. And if you keep having that mindset, then do you know what? You're starting off on a negative. And one of the things we have, which very little in this world we have control over, but the one thing is our emotions. Okay, but the choice of whether we go into a situation positive or negatively. Now, if you walk into a room for an interview and you think negative, then you're starting off on the wrong foot straight away. Whereas if you walk into, a, into an interview room and you start positive and think, Do you know what, I've worked hard for this. I've got all of the skills and attributes they need to offer for this. I'm in a good place in my life and I'm just as good as anybody else. And you start off with that successful mind frame, then you're starting off on a stronger foot, regardless of how the interview goes. And that shines through. So negativity and positivity, if we make that choice, 
it, it, it helps. It really does help. Now, I'm not saying that just be positive in every single situation in life because that's not always easy. But try to put a positive spin on things. Now, of course, through loss in a family and in bereavement and all those horrible, heartbreaking things, it's going to be really, really tough. And you know what? There, in that moment, there is none. But my friends, in the darkest of times, there is light and the light does follow. And that person is always with you. They always are. I lost my nan, who was my absolute world, on the 31st of May 2021. And you know what? They still seem as bleak as ever, as dark as ever. But I know now that, do you know what? My nan is with the Lord up above. She she looks down on me. She's with me all the time. She's here all the time. Because if you love somebody that much, they never, ever leave you. And do you know what? That feels amazing and warm that she is this part of her with me always. And there is. And it's up to us to, to carry that forward. So I hope that transcend and that can that can come across and that can give you a little bit of comfort because it does me. It really does. But it's not always easy. But again, this path we're all on is weary and often it can be stormy. Let's use another word. And let's paraphrase that. Sometimes it can be just downright awful, but we get there and these things grow us. They develop us. And, you know, only until recently when in my 30th year, I'll be 30 in July and someone said to me, what's the difference apart from age? And, you know, if you'd have asked me a couple of years ago, I would have struggled. It's not how you look. It's not how you, what you do with your life or anything like that at all. The difference, take aging away. It's life experience. Going through things in life develops you. You may think that when you get to 18 that you can take on the world and you're this adult. But actually, to be honest, everybody's in the same boat. Don't they say fake it until you make it? And you know what? Again, it transcends to that phrase, doesn't it? If the path is weary ahead, don't give up. If you'll find it difficult, just don't give up. Keep going. Because it's those times which are going to make you stronger and they're going to make you grow and develop. And yeah, OK, not everybody's a better person for that. Some people turn obnoxious, heaven forbid. <laughs> but, you know, nine times out of ten, and I hope you're getting what I'm trying to get across in this clip. But actually, I've been through some really weary times lately and I could have just sat down like I cried and just given up, to be quite honest with you. But I haven't. I've kept going. And actually now I'm starting to reap the reward. I'm an emotionally stronger person. The people around me sometimes aren't. My brothers sometimes aren't. I'm the strongest one. I'll put that out there emotionally. I'm not physically. I'm walking around not very good at the moment. I've got a bit of a problem with my groin and my hip going on. But you know what? Emotionally, I can support people. And when the going gets tough, I'm there. I'm not just there for family. I'm there for people who have only just met at work. I'm there for people who I've just passed in the street and I see they're down. I'll ask them, are you OK? Is there anything I can help you with? So I'll leave you my last thoughts. When the path is weary, don't go giving up. You've got so much to offer in this life. And my friend, you're going to get there. You really are. God bless. Take great care. And I'll be seeing you both soon. Bye for now.